there is no one way, there is no one number where you can capture an individual's general purchasing power based on the supply and demand for economic goods. There's no one number that you can boil it down to. You can try, uh, you can try, and I give John Williams credit for at least using the official definitions that used in the 80s and show how skewed it is today. Again, at least double the rate that they say, probably more. But even then, even then, it's, imp it's impossible to calculate. Price inflation is, it's, it's uh, the, only, the only sort of sense that you're gonna get is always a general sense. It's probably gonna be a politicized sense. And there's just no way that, you know, I, people have different tastes for economic goods. Subjective value comes right back to the core of it. Like maybe I like filet mignon, maybe I like ground beef. Maybe I like iPads. Maybe I like uh, one of these cheap Xiaomi or whatever they're called, you know, Chinese devices that is much cheaper. Uh, maybe I like real estate in Manhattan. Maybe I like real estate in, you know, rural Indiana. There is no way that a general level of prices can be boiled out to one number nationally at the federal level and try to have that guide economic and fiscal and monetary policy, which are all blended together now. There's no independence between any of these agencies, treasury and central bank and taxpayer, basically. Um, there, there, there's, there's no way that it can be boiled down to this one number, which they have basically succeeded in this sort of collective psychosis telling the public that inflation means an increase in the general level of prices, whether it be consumer index or producer index. I will never in a billion years add that as a, as a meaningful economic analysis to anything that I do. And it will never, it, it just, it never, it never can be done. It's, it's impossible to do. It's impossible to do. You cannot measure it. The best you could do is look at exchange rates in your own individual environment. Look at the price of gold, look at the price of Bitcoin, by the way, Every individual has a different price of gold, whether it be their cost basis or what they buy or sell or their sort of effective uh, purchasing power uh, based on their prior holdings or uh, how their purchasing power has changed from this last week to last week to this week. There is no way that any of that could be boiled down into one simple number, meaning this CPI index increase of the consumer prices. Just no way.